So I am talking to Mark Edwards, whom you may know from awesome products such as Everything Made by Bajango. Mark, how are you doing? I'm going well, thank you very much. So you have been, you know, an open secret, you've been working on Scala for the last long while of your life, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's 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 exactly summing it up perfectly. It's been a long time. And we, we announced it um, almost a year ago now, and we still we still have a bit to go, but we, we finished another small part of it that we, we think is, is ready to be shared with the world. And you're actually going to just give it away, which is startling to me. Can you tell me what it is and why you're doing this? So we we thought as part of as as part of Scala we'd need a, a really great color picker, a way to a great way to choose colors. Um, and one of the ways you can do that is by building a, an OS ten color picker that then integrates into any any Mac software. And we we thought we'd just we'd give it away, um, let people play with it, hopefully like it, and then maybe they'll um, check out Scala when we release it. So that's that's the that's the gist of it. I think it's fair to, I don't know if you're going to say it, but I'm going to say that the color pickers that ship with OS X are maddening, from the Crayola box all the way down to the sliders, to the big wheels. Uh, having grown up on Corel and grown up on Photoshop, they're just not the way I like to choose colors. Yeah, I, I have a, a bit of a love-hate relationship. The, the color picker has a lot of cool features. There's a lot of stuff in there that, that's quite amazing, but it's not really how I want to work. So um, certainly for a lot of people who have been using Photoshop or Adobe's apps for a long time, they, they have a certain style of picking colors that I kind of like as well. So um, we've, we've done something loosely based on that, but we've sort of um, tried to push the bar forward, forward a lot further as well. So what were, the, what were the most important things for you for a color picker, Mark? What, what was your dream color picker? So the going into this, the, the, the main intention was to keep it as small and compact as possible because any any space, any any pixel that is used on the color picker is a pixel that's not used for you to show your artwork. So we want it to be really, really compact and, and I don't think many other pickers are, certainly not pickers with lots of features. And the 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 second um, large motivation for this picker, as you may have guessed anyway from, from knowing me, is um is, is precision. We wanted something that was was Incredibly accurate. So with um, when you're using the the hue and the opacity sliders, uh, a section above it pops open that's that's four times the precision. So it means you can have something that's a a width that would normally not let you choose certain values on screen, but because there's a four times precision area above it, you can jump above and and slide around. So even if the the picker is only say 250 pixels wide, you can actually hit all 360 degrees of, of hue. And have a few pixels, few mouse pixels to choose choose it from, um, whereas you'd normally only have as many positions as there are pixels wide on the screen. If that makes sense, it makes a lot of sense, and I'm actually looking really forward to it. And uh, you were kind enough to let me try it out, and it's actually really if if you have not yet installed a custom color picker, OS 10 does make it really easy to do that. Yeah, it does. It does. We uh, one thing you haven't got yet is we um we we are shipping an installer with it, so you don't even need to. You just double click it, and it's it's in. good to go. It'll work in any Mac app. Yeah, I think that's the important thing. Any any app that supports standard OS 10 pickers will now let you support the awesome Scala picker. Exactly, exactly, and and drag the uh, color swatches around and sample colors from the screen and all the other kind of things that the um the color picker does stuff by default with the color wheels, which is pretty cool. And I have to ask this, Mark, not to torment you, but just because I want it so badly. How's how Scala, the the large S Scala, looking? It's it's going really really well. Um, the development's been incredibly linear in that we we have just been building it one part at a time. We've been putting the wheels on, you know, and then doing the paint paint job, whatever else is next, you know, just assembling it one one component at a time. But unfortunately, like Lego. Like Lego, exactly. It is such a massive project. So we haven't had any, there's been no speed humps, there's been no issues, there's been uh, no complications at all. It's just a matter of just getting it built one day at a time. So we're, we're a lot closer than we, than we were 12 months ago, but we're still, we're not done. So. We're almost on our way to Mark's dream interface design and building tool. Exactly, exactly. Or right, version so one of <laughs> Where do people go to find out more about Scala Color Picker, more about Scala in general, more about you, Mark? So Bajango.com, uh, Scala Picker will be, I assume, by the time this video is shown, that will be on the homepage. Um, you can download it there for free. And uh, you can find me on um, on Twitter as, as Mark Edwards, as Mark with a C, or Bajango uh, on Twitter and app.net and everything else social. 
Awesome. You can find me at Renee Ritchie. You can find me every week on Iterate, well, every second week on Iterate with Mark and Seth. Uh, and you can find more information on imore.com. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you very much.